Hello, my name is Rampant Mystic, and welcome back to Slay the Spire. Now we have a scheduled ascension. The scheduled ascension is supposed to be for the silent today. The thing is, though, after last night's defect storm build, I sort of want to go have another go at that type of build. I'm kind of excited, so we're going to do a defect ascension today. And Friday, we're going to do a silent ascension. Obtain a random colorless uncommon card, three potions, or choose a rare card to obtain. Now there aren't that many rare cards that I like. Three potions could give me a boost of it. A little bit of a boost. It's not gonna be too much. I see a sorta nice path. Has an elite on it, at the very least. Two rests. Oof. What is the boss on this floor? I don't want to lose the starting relic. Oh, I'm gonna regret this. Okay. I am not regretting it. It's AoE and it's actually good AoE. Electrodynamics is probably the best AoE in my opinion for the defect. It's just really good. It's that good? Yeah, it's that good. Auto shields, definitely. I'm still gonna try and go for it. As I said, oh no, give me something good. Give me data disk. Seriously? You almost killed me. Alright, uh, where was I going? I was going over here, so I'm definitely gonna have to rest at one of the rests. At one of the rests. Fossilized helix, now that's something I would have loved on the last run. On the last defect, such a one. Oh, an anchor, of course. It's just, it's, it's just great. Just get that damage up. Okay, mm, I cannot defend myself here, so I guess I'm just gonna go attack. And tank the rest of the hits from the False Lies Helix. What I was trying to say there, I, I'm just realizing what I said. Uh, what I wanted to say is, I'm definitely taking self repair. What I wanted to say is. Uh, well, the false sliced helix is gonna tank the rest of the hits for me. I could risk it. I could not rest and risk it an upgrade self repair or auto shields. I could actually upgrade self. -repair. You know what? Let's try. Worst case scenario, I redo. Yeah. It depends. It really does. I do have lock, so there's not much of a point in me playing auto shields, and I'm actually not even gonna tank. Uh, the the head on the buffer. And the enemy's dead. Too bad I couldn't play self-repair though. I probably should have waited a little bit. Yeah, probably. Okay, here I am upgrading auto shields. I normally don't upgrade electrodynamics. You don't need to upgrade it. You use it for its... Secondary? No, it's primary ability. Right? It's the primary ability, right? Well, lightning now hits all enemies. Yeah, that's the primary ability. You don't use it for the channeling. Mostly. Art of War, okay. I am going to be playing mostly powers and defense, so... I guess it's extra energy? Thing is, though, this enemy. Ooh, I would have picked up a pair if I could. That's not good. It's not good at all. Yeah, let's remove that. Don't need it. I guess I could take the block potion. What's the boss on this floor? Ooh, good thing I have electrodynamics, I guess. I, I probably should pick up the block potion, right? Just in case. I might need it. Oh, really? <laughs> of course I was gonna try that. Oh, I don't have a choice here. Wow! Well, if I survive the elite fight, which I won't. I probably won't. In all likelihood, I will not survive this fight. But uh, this fight. But if I do, uh, and somehow manage to actually heal up, I'm gonna be in a really good position. So fully defended. I do want to dual cast, but at the same time, I don't want to lose the lightning orb. So I'm just gonna zap. Okay, I just need to survive two more turns. Which I guess I still have the buffer, which is nice. Oh, I need to play this. Okay, still on, still really well off. Okay, we might actually live through this. 
Ooh, the amount of risks I've taken for this build to work. Bottled Lightning. Uh, definitely don't want this. I guess the Zap? Yeah, the Zap. Uh, go for the eyes, right? It's just a good card. Alright, definitely playing Self Repair and Electrodynamics. Since this enemy will still split. It's a medium slime, right? Oh, large slime, okay. Problem is I'm frail, so... I'd rather be weakened because I'm not really basing my damage too much on attacks. So dual cast, then zap. Ooh, if I if I get a defrag here, that would be glorious, wouldn't it? Yeah, defragging getting a defrag would be really good. Just because of the extra AoE damage. Or at the very least a focus potion just for the first floor boss. All enemies are dead. No, I did not get one. Of course it's too much to ask. I should probably upgrade this since, since it's bottled, but... At the same time, I think I'm gonna rest. Alrighty. Zap, strike. Am I using this? I guess not yet. When he transforms, I'm gonna use that. I might get something like a Rip and Tear or whatever. Okay. I can actually tank the first hit. I haven't used Electrodynamics yet. There it is. So I guess I'm tanking the first hit. Yeah. He's transforming next turn. Actually, no. If I don't play any cards, he's not. But this is, I believe, the turn he applies slimes. So yeah, I'm gonna transform here. And let's see what this is. Ooh, Blizzard is not something we want. I guess the claw. I mean, it's something. It's not much, but it's something. Like, you could give me a ball lightning or whatever. Uh, ball lightning would have been nice. So here I actually want a double defend and single slime. Fully defend it and I'm doing AoE damage. I'm gonna be frail there. But, at the very least, I have Art of War for the foreseeable future. I guess that depends if I'm attacking this turn. I probably am. Probably should've used that on the back one. Yeah. I mean, I still have the block potion, which is kinda nice. Okay, uh, the slime is definitely dead. Actually, every all of them are dead. Okay, we made it through! Uh, machine learning, definitely. Nuclear battery, you can no longer smith. That's not good, I need to smith. And I'm probably gonna be playing more than five or six cards per turn, depending. It does depend, because if I upgrade dual cast and zap, that's like two extra cards, and go for the eyes is free, and... If I possibly get something like Mummified Hand or a couple of Madnesses, I might. So I'm just gonna take a nuclear battery, a battery, not battery, for a little bit of an energy boost early on, and that's about it. That's basically just for the first turn, so I can place a bunch of storms. Actually, it's a good idea because it not only is it gonna provide an extra energy on the first turn, but once evoked, it's actually gonna provide two energy, so technically three energy on the first turn. So I can easily play two storms and maybe like two or three other powers, depending on what the powers are, of course. That is all based on me getting a storm, or two, or three, or whatever. I see a good path here. Wet an early shop, wet an elite, only one elite. I could do two, I guess, depending on how things go. I do have electrodynamics, so. Oh, give me electro first. Oh, thank you. It's glorious, isn't it? I'm fully defended, so I will play the self-repair, then the zap. Right. I forgot about the battery. I really did. And they are all dead as soon as I get a dual cast. There they are. Gone. Not taking any of these, don't need them. Ooh, now this enemy is probably the most difficult one. Not gonna use go for the eyes. It's not worth the three damage. 
I mean, I do have a buffer bot still. Am I defending here? Yeah. Shouldn't have. I guess I could use the Essence of Steel just so I can maintain the buffer for next turn. That and it is going to provide some damage. But I haven't attacked this turn yet, but I will be. That's the best I can do. I'll still have him taking damage, which is kind of nice. And enemy's dead. That was worth the Essence of Steel Potion, honestly, Capacitor. I will not lose my gold, I will. I like my gold. Oh, thank you for the Electrodynamics early on. Playing the Zap here, definitely. And I'm fully defended. Yeah, I'm gonna have negative two to Dex, but they should be dead really soon. I don't have a Storm, so playing all these cards is sort of pointless. This is something that's definitely getting played, self-repair, because I'm gonna need the healing. There's not much of a point in me playing a defense, but a block potion on the other hand prevents this 12 damage. I'm gonna take 10 at the end of this, I guess it's not bad. I don't no, I'm not. I'm gonna take no damage. The strike there kills the front one. Hit bear a couple of times. And they're dead. Actually took no damage. I, I can barely believe that. Applied to lock. Lock on targets received 50% more damage from orbs. So they did change that. That's interesting. I never noticed, honestly. That was, yeah, the last time I used Bullseye, uh, the lock on thing, is when the defect came out. <laughs> oh, this is funny, isn't it? I'm gonna pick up a Steam Barrier. It's a good card. Am I gonna go for the shop? Yeah, probably. Ooh, 50 50. Okay, birth phase turn is good. It's gonna heal me. Defrag, definitely defrag. At this point, I might actually pick up a barrage. Uh, no, card remove. I mean, I'm. My lightning orbs are dealing damage, but I'm not generating too many of them, which is an issue. So, defrag is the first thing to get upgraded because it's a damage upgrade, basically. I could go for an extra elite. Zap machine learning, go for the eyes. I'm actually not gonna strike here, I'm gonna choose to get extra energy next turn for my Art of War and the Plasma Orb. Because I might be able to play a bunch of things. By the looks of things, was the correct call. 23, I shall play the Steam Barrier as well so I don't take the buffer to hit. Because that might be useless, uh, useful now! So, Capacitor, Defrag, Electrodynamics. I will probably choose to get the extra energy next turn instead of striking. Probably. Oh, that was too much energy. Uh, I thought I was gonna dual cast one of these. I was wrong. Horribly wrong. Now we're back to 3 energy. I'm just gonna dual cast here. And that's it. Don't need to do go for the eyes. Just 3 damage. Now I'm definitely attacking though. I want the Centurion dead, so... There he goes. Okay, at this point, I have nothing left to lose, so you just attack. Can keep attacking. So Barrage is not bad, but I won't be picking it up. I already picked up a Steam Barrier, so... Okay, give me... Oh, good, thank you. That's really helpful. You have no idea. So Electrodynamics will not evoke the Plasma Orb, right? Yeah, it won't. Puts it in front. I need to actually play one deep end here. I will. There it is. It's just so that I don't take any damage on the first turn. I knew the buffer was gonna get hit there. That just 
That was just happening, okay? Okay, two are dead. The metal one is the only one that's actually not gonna die. And I'm defended. Do I need to play in self repair? Well, I guess I guess I will just in case. But the enemy should be dead. Still though, sundial, force field is just free block after a certain point. Frozen egg. Okay, give me storms. A bunch of them, please. Like as many as you can give me, I'll take them all. I really will. Oh Ned, I'm not gonna take more than three, but you know, just in case. Alrighty, uh, I have not played Electrodynamics, so I'll actually. Uh... So I will actually not dual cast here. I do want the lightning orbs because I'm gonna be dazed. Yeah, hexed. Sorry. Electrodynamics. Defrag, and there's not much of a point of me defending, so I will self repair. Just in case I get hit. Next turn, of course. Which is the third. I have 20 damage here, so I'm, I need to kill that one. Okay, I'm getting hit now. The plasma orb is still alive. Which is a surprise. Shall I strike? Yeah, I will. Won't play go for the eyes there. I should I should Oh, I got the case of the hiccups again. I, I didn't need to do that. I don't know why I did that. Oh, uh, and I'm actually not fully defended. Yeah, enemy was dead, but I was still not fully defended. Okay. This fight becomes ridiculously easy as soon as I get Electrodynamics. Before that, though, it's... It's a bit annoying. Let's say that. Okay, good. One of them is dead. I'm glad. I can defrag. Pro definitely force field, right? Yeah. Probably should have struck on the Gremlin. Yeah. Definitely should have. Right, so capacitor, electrodynamics, machine learning. And I'm actually healing up because of bird face turn and uh, what's it called? Suffer bear. Yeah, I'm gonna No, I didn't need to use the steam barrier, the gremlin, the mad gremlin is dead. Well Am I gonna really defend? Yes. Why? Because I can. He might attack. With one enemy, he can choose to attack. I don't need to dual cast that one. At least not yet. This one's dead. Second defrag. Yep. We're working for a second defrag now. That's a bunch of energy. That's even more energy now. Uh, there's no point in me uh, hitting the uh, any of the minions. They'll just die every turn. I'm doing 25 damage per turn. And the healthiest minion is the Grumman Wizard, so. Not even gonna dual cast. Exactly for the same reason. In case the wizard comes out, I want it to die on a single turn. In a single turn. Now I'm definitely doing it. Tiny chest? Shall I take the fire potion? No, probably not. Right, I can lose any one of these two relics, but I don't want to. I think both of them are really important, especially for this build. Now I can make this an 8, but I won't. Probably Capacitor, right? Oh, I need to upgrade Zap and Dual Cast. I keep forgetting to do those. And that might cost me. Probably will. Who am I striking? The Shulk Parasite because the Fungi Beast is going to die in a little bit. Uh, due to the AoE. Not this turn though. Am I stri- no, I'm not going to strike here. 
I'll choose to Art of War to, you know, retain the extra energy for next turn. There goes my buffer. There's the electrodynamics I wanted. Ambassador, self repair. And so this one's definitely dead, uh, but I'm gonna hit, get hit for a little bit of damage. I will heal the 10, but still. Not a fun thing to be hit. Okay, after I remove the vulnerability, yeah, okay. And now I'll start striking the shell parasite. Okay. Yeah, I could have used the liquid bronze. Don't really need to, though. As I said, the enemy's gonna fall over really soon. Hopefully. I need a way to generate lightning orbs. I was hoping to have storm by now. I don't. And I'm running on a single zap with. That's not even upgraded. I'm running on a single zap and an electrodynamics that are not upgraded. This is probably a mistake, but you know what? Let's go. A uh, zap. <laughs> At this point, I need it upgraded. Alright, so this is sort of good. I mean, I can evoke that one if I want to. I won't. Yeah, I mean, I can play everything in this hand, so... I won't evoke the Plasmorb yet. I'm fully defended, I don't need to play the Steam Barrier. Barrier. Let's see, maybe I can set up. Nope. That's it. Just to get it out of hand, I guess. Ooh, 27. Machine learning. Eh, 20. A little bit more manageable. Okay. More capacitors. Yeah, I'm not gonna be fully defended here, so I'm taking this hit on the buffer. I could have used the block potion, the buffer can absorb a lot more damage, but... I don't think we're gonna get to that point. I'm actually not gonna be dual casting anytime soon, I want a full array of orbs. It's just because I have to burst down the champion. Sooner or later. Uh, preferably sooner. And unlike last time, I don't have Storm and I don't have Double Deep Rag. So yeah, there's always that. And I'm doing 25 per turn. If I had a Storm, he'd be dead by now, just saying. Nope, didn't need to defend there. Yeah, he's gonna purge real soon. Really, really, really soon. He's actually gonna debuff me, which is really bad. I didn't want him to do that. Okay, he's purging next turn, but I'm gonna be vulnerable. Yeah, that's what I didn't want him to do. Oh, he's not purging yet. Okay. That's fine by me. <laughs> the later you do your execute, the better off I am. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this, uh, I need a storm for the spell to be like, really powerful. This is 66 damage. A lot of damage. And this is the best defense I can do. 20. Good thing I haven't really taken too much damage this fight. I can tank the hits for a little bit, not for too long though. Okay, good. And the enemy should be dead next turn. Blocked. And the enemy's dead. Of course I'll fully defend just in case, but the enemy is dead. That's 50 damage, isn't it? Or 45? Right, so Core Surge is not bad, but I will not be picking it up. Uh, probably Curse Key or Insert- Uh, Inserter is gonna remove, uh, Inserter. Hmm, no. Probably Curse Key, right? I mean, no, I don't need the extra energy. But the thing is though, I have two capacitors, so I don't need inserter as well, so 
I guess the turn of feather. I mean, the inserter can be useful before I get the capacitors, but once I do, there is not much of a point to it. Okay, let's see the path. It's a time eater fright, it's not an awakened one. Alright, so I see what one rest, one elite, and two shops. And why I'm saying that, no, two elites, sorry, there's two elites. Why I'm saying that is because I need to pick up a swarm. It has to happen now. It just has to. I cannot wait any longer. And I need a second defrag as well. For the time meter fight, it's just gonna go a lot quicker. It's a capacitor. Am I force field? Yeah, I'll force field. Yeah, I'm gonna tank one of the heads on the buffer. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, and I'm even gonna dual cast. Because they should die relatively quickly. Yeah, probably next turn, depending on what I get. Mm, not what I need it. Oh, should have played auto shields first. Well, I'm killing that one. Actually, I didn't need to. He was gonna die. That was a mistake. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of hits. A couple of damage. A little bit of damage. <clears throat> Should I take a third capacitor while I have inserter? Uh, the the well-known capacitor build. <laughs> Storm, definitely bag of preparations. It has to happen. It just has to. Okay, I picked up a single storm, which is good. So now I just storm, defrag, zap, machine learning. And I still have the plasma orb, that's nice. You know what? I'm not gonna play the strike, I'm gonna save the energy. Alright, with a single storm, this makes the build a little bit better. A lot better, actually, because I'm gonna be doing a lot more damage. And with Electrodynamics, I have the AoE to deal with most of the elites here. I am at maximum warp slots. Don't need these. So I will go for the double elite. Ooh, I can get 5 max HP here. What do I not need? Probably a strike. I mean... Electrodynamics is the only thing that's actually going to give me max HP, right? Ah, machine learning as well. I don't really use self-repair that much, but I will keep it. It is going to generate lightning orbs, and that's one of the reasons why I picked it up. Plus, I really wanted the self-repair last game, so. Storm, defrag, machine learning, zap. The one thing I'm probably regretting here is actually not having um, a core surge for the construction. So here, I'll actually just straight up defend as much as I can. Because this enemy is not something to be toyed around with. I really do want to play Electrodynamics. I mean, I can take one of the hits on the buffer, but... It's just this is going to provide me with 15 extra damage per turn. There is no point in playing Steam Barrier. Okay, I'm tanking 18. I will heal that up, it's fine. I will strike here. And we should be good for a kill next turn. Yeah, we are. We definitely are. Okay, Dex Potion, definitely useful. I don't need a second Steam Barrier, we're good now. Ooh, big giant head. I will electrodynamics. That's yeah, gonna evoke the orb by now. Ooh, that was a mistake on my part. Defrag, capacitor. Probably should have been capacitor then defrag, right? And then I will play auto shields then. A 4 damage go for the eyes. 
Come on, like, give me data disk. Please. Like, give me data disk. I will start evoking orbs, dual casting them. Thing is that once I played all my powers, I cannot generate any more lightning orb except for the zap. Uh, so there's gonna be this weird moment when the enemy has way too much HP and I can't deal that much damage. I just have to wait. What? Oh right, uh, the big giant head. Of course, of course, he gets for so much. I forgot about that. So I'll take this. I'll tank this damage on the buffer. And I might need to use a dex potion. That's something that might happen. So I have yeah, not not enough here. I have twenty eight. I could tank this damage. It's the thing is though. I want to save the um the dex potions for the time eater because the time eater is slightly scarier than the big giant head. Even though the big giant head. Probably if somebody did a statistic, uh, the, the big giant head has probably ended more of my runs than the time eater has. I can defend for a little bit. Not for too much though. No, oh, it's time. It's time I use that. I, sh I shouldn't waste time. I'll just slowly bleed. I might as well use that. I mean, good thing I have go for the eyes. But I should have upgraded a while ago. I definitely should have. Didn't, but I should have. Yeah, I'm, I'm not defending fully. But the enemy should be dead next turn, hopefully. Hopefully. Nope. Not yet. Guaranteed next turn, though. Orb slots are at maximum. Okay. It was dead, but just in case, I didn't want to jinx it. I didn't want to speak too early. Multicast is a no. So I'm going here for the next elite. And because of self-repaired, I healed up a little bit, and because of bird face turn, and because of blood vial, I'll heal for a lot more now. I need to play electrodynamics here. Just tasks happen. Good. And are the enemies dead? Not yet, but they will be. Next turn. Yeah, it's a guarantee. At this point, I'm just toying around with them. Uh, upgraded go for the eyes. I already have one. I mean, it's not upgraded, but I can't. I'm probably not gonna remove it, so. Alright, so storm, defrag, capacitor, capacitor. I'm actually healing up. But yeah, this is my only source of damage, basically. Uh, you're doing way too much damage. Now, don't you think? Should I take this one on the buffer? I will. I won't use the block potion yet. I, it might be valuable someday. <laughs> I can dual cast the plasma orb, right? I don't know what that's gonna do, but... I mean, I'm gonna have extra energy, which I don't need to use. Like I said, I have enough energy. Because of Art of War and the... Uh, Nuclear battery. And I'm fully defended. Yeah, it's gonna be a slow fight. Very slow one. Okay. I'm gonna dual cast it now just to get it out. Real question is, should I just take the damage or use the block button? Yeah, you know what, I'm gonna heal most of it, so... I'm gonna heal some of it, not most of it. I'm gonna heal for like 10. Yeah, which is one fourth.
I don't need to dual cast. I'm gonna be taking a bunch of damage here. Not anymore! And the enemy's dead next turn. Wow, the amount of burns. Good thing they don't trigger before the lightning orbs. That's a mummified hand. Then I'm definitely taking reinforced body. Bag of marbles? I don't really need it, I guess. I actually want to go for the shop, not for the elite, because I need a storm. Oh, don't need it. I, I want it. Fairy in a bottle? Okay. Alright, well, as soon as I start playing Storm, and I have a bunch of powers in my opening hand, that's gonna be really good. It's just gonna... Well, make sure that I play all the powers, basically. Yeah, I'm probably taking the damage here. On the buffer, of course. Yeah, I am. Alrighty, so self repair, capacitor, electrodynamics. Yep. That's a bunch of damage. So, machine learning. Let's dual cast the plasma orb and just play everything. Yeah, it's gonna be a slow couple of turns. And the enemy's gone. Because it disappears at the end of the fifth turn. There it is. And I actually have a sundial nearby. Alright. So, decision time, elite or shot, and I'm probably going for the shot, yeah. Ooh, not a, there isn't a second, oh. I was honestly hoping for a second storm, I really was. I'm gonna take machine learning though. Probably card remove. It's an event. It's because of the, the oh, the focus potion, I didn't see it! I would have bought it. I guaranteed, I would have bought it. Guaranteed. This is gonna make everything free. What? They're not dead yet? Really? Well, some of them are. Well, one of them is. I can't believe they survived this. It's a lack of defrag, I tell you. There it is. Just make everything free. And they're definitely dead now. Ah, oh, give me a second defrag. Please give me a second defrag. Because mm. I could take a ball of lightning for lightning generation. I will. At this point, I should. Oh. I hate this enemy. I really do. It's really annoying. Alright, let's play everything. I probably will ball lightning. I'm still not fully defended though. Uh, so I guess this is probably worse because I'm actually gonna take damage now. <laughs> yep, there it is, the damage. Mm, probably should have attacked it. Yeah. I just didn't want to risk the possibility of it getting giving me a disease. You know, a curse, a uh, curse. I was, I was, I was trying to say curse, not a disease. I was not talking about diseases. And he's gone. I mean, technically, I should probably take the second self repair. Do I have another enemy fight? No, I'm gonna take it. It's just for the lightning orb generation at this point. And yeah, sure, I will upgrade Electrodynamics. I needed to go for the eyes upgraded, but... You know. Alright, let's play a bunch of cards. Machine Learning. Zap. Should I play the straight? Yeah, I will. I mean, I haven't gotten Electrodynamics out, but it should be fine. 
Ooh, 12 by 3. I should defend here, regardless. Oh, one thing to play, really. And I'm not even fully defended. Um, short by three. Ah, um, that's gonna hit the buffer. Oh boy. I can only play a single card here, so it's actually gonna be capacitor. Just so I get the extra orb slots. Mm, this is gonna be a tough one. It's gonna be a really tough fight. Now this is where the buffer would have been useful. Yeah. Yeah, this is where the buffer would have definitely been useful. And the thing is, I'm actually not going to be able to burst down the time eater. I don't need to play any cards. Uh, I'm not going to be able to burst him down, so he is going to be able to heal to half his HP. Which should be on oh, next turn. An auto shield, self repair. I don't need to play too many cards here. I shouldn't. Because he's gonna purge and self heal to half HP, so. And I can't burst down 190 HP. Not with this build. If I had a second storm, probably. But no, not this way. So there's the purge, and he's actually. I don't play any cards because I don't want to advance the timer. Because the timer, once it hits 11, a uh, 12 actually, once it hits 12, he gains strength, so. You really don't want to do that. I gotta play two more cards. I play them there just, you know. Just so I can have 12 more cards to play. Probably not gonna play 12 more cards. I might though. By the looks of the amount of damage he's trying to do to me. Okay, come on. Come on, he's close to death. Come on. Come on, beat the ascension. Come on. Okay. Leave it at 5. And the enemy's dead. That's it. There's just nothing it can do next turn. I mean, I will still defend myself, but just in that's a just in case scenario. That's it. I can't believe it. We had so much trouble with Ascension level 5, and it seems like 6 and 7 are way easier. I mean, 6. Ascension mode 7 unlocked. Well, that was Ascension level 6 for you. My name has been Rampant Mystic. I do hope you enjoyed this episode of Slate Aspire, and I do hope to see you all in the next one.